Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Got a really nice morning out here at Northeast Creek. Uh, got a few boats. We're going to run the uh, shrimp outrigger in this video. First time I've ever taken this boat to the speed run spot. Uh, it's been a while since I ran this boat, so it should be kind of interesting to see what it does. I have a, a custom Big B boat up prop on. All right, uh, 2968 with a fly color 90. Uh, took my turn fin off. Let's go. Let's go. Boat gang, boat gang, we don't need no wheels. All we need is blades. Throw a rooster tail. While y'all boys sitting on the hill, we be throwing bees for boat gang for real. I got it zeroed out. Okay. Start. Yeah, I've never run this boat at the speed run spot. First time. I figured it was going to be nice today. I'd bring some of my smaller boats out. See what kind of tide we got, if any. None? No tide. All right. Hopefully it runs good. Hopefully we don't flip it. I'm trying to get 60 with it at least. Ooh, that was heart pounding fast. Man, that was fast. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. No turn fin, it wanted to spin out up there. Holy moly, guacamole. Stop, read, 96, what, what, let's go. That can't be right. Read it again. Let's go. Let's freaking go, boy. 96 with the freaking little rigger. Let's freaking go. You guys see me clear it out. Oh, <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Oh, my God. I, oh, 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 that was pretty. Oh, 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 that made my day. That made my day. Oh, God. Okay. 76. That's more like it. <laughs> 76. I didn't hit, I didn't hit Reed. I just, I matched Reed. 96 was with the, the animal twin yesterday. Okay. That, that's more like it. Oh, I was starting to freak out there, boys. I was starting to freak out. That was awesome. 76. That's still something to write home about. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I broke my breakaway screw. Okay, so I always keep breakaway screws on hand. About time for some more. I like, I drill all my boats out to the same size breakaway, this four millimeter. I drill them all out so that all my boats run the same size. It just makes it easier for me. Man, I got excited when I seen that 96. A little, I got a little too excited. <laughs> I apologize, I apologize. I'm gonna do one more pass. Start. And then I'm gonna throw that other battery in. Actually, on the way here, I sat on those batteries to warm them up. <laughs> All right. 
hope that didn't knock my, that flip didn't knock my sponsons loose or out of place because it'll definitely make a huge difference. Get her lined up good here. Not having a turn fin, it's a little bit unpredictable. All right, let's throw that other battery in. All right, let's check that quick rip. 75. That little quick rip right there. Man, that's a fast little boat, man. This is a fast little boat. Getting those numbers. That is a fast little boat. All right, so I'm gonna pull the GPS and put another battery in. I'm running these SMC 2200s. All right, 4S packs. Slightly warmed up. It's it's really cool out here. So I'm gonna get out of this uh, in the boat and taped up Tracking Start Okay, let's go Not a drop of water in the boat Not a drop All right This thing right here is big enough for a big fish to come up and just swallow. Oh! I just hit that damn log pile. I just slammed into that rock pile, log pile over there. Probably ruined my boat. At least it didn't sink. Oh, I did. I messed up the nose. Get over here. Time to rebuild it. For the 50th time. <laughs> Man, I hit that log over there. Wide ass, well, not wide open. I couldn't get it to veer away and it wouldn't slow down. Stop, tracking, all right, tracking. 77, I think that's the world's fastest shrimp. <laughs> I wanna say that's the world's fastest shrimp. Man, that, that, that sucks. Oh man. But we'll get it fixed up. I, uh, I put a hole in it right here. I put a hole in it right here. I've, I've broken these sponsons dozens of times. We'll get it fixed. That's no big deal. Kind of, oh, blows. Oh, man. Well, it might be ruined. It might be ruined, boys. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Destroy the boat. And, but we got a fast ass speed. I, I love it. I freaking love it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to run my boats. I'm not afraid to put power on my boats. And I'm not afraid to break a boat. Uh, I'm not afraid to flip a boat. It's just part of it. I've, I've grown my channel on having fun and running fast boats. And if you run a fast boat, you're going to flip it. You're going to hit stuff. You're going to break things. It's just part of it. You can't be afraid. No fear.
so I'm gonna finish the video up here. All right, this thing was screaming today. Oh man, it, it got me so excited and tickled. This, I mean, this this is a, a very cheap build. Um, I probably only have about 130, 140 bucks. Well, maybe 150 with batteries and everything into this boat. And, it, and, it, and this boat will prove that you don't have to spend a lot of money to go fast. You don't have to buy expensive electronics, expensive big batteries, and big, big boats to go fast on the water. You just got to have an efficient setup. Um, this little prop, this is what the prop used to look like right here. It was a 1716. I hit something and I modified a 1716, which is a 43 millimeter prop, to about 38.5 millimeters. I've actually, I hit something and I did the cupping around it. I mean, it is a fast prop. This prop was a game changer for my boat. I'm talking game changer, okay? So, a uh, little micro servo. Not even a water jacket on it, just a, a cooling ring. So I, I think I'm going to fix this boat. It actually has some sentimental value to me. Um, G-Man, George Gonzalez sent it to me for like a, a gift, you know, support the channel type gift. And um, maybe even a Christmas present. And I, and I kind of want to keep it around. I, I could get another tub, another kit and just build the tub. But, well, for one, this is possibly the world's fastest shrimp outrigger possibly quite possibly and and you know too it's got some sentimental value i think i know i can repair it and if you guys want to see the repair video a highlighted repair video let me know i'll kind of go through my steps so I, i'm going to show you what i'm going to do um i think well i've already took the servo out started cutting all my tape so i got to remove all that i think i'm going to keep the same the same piece on there I think I can get it arranged so my boom tubes are level. Okay, just keep the same piece. Grind this wood out right here, inside and out, and then layer it with uh, carbon fiber and fiberglass. Okay, that'll reinforce and build this piece back onto the stringer. All right, uh, where I'm going to get a little a little creative is the bottom. I'm going to have to pull this whole piece right here out, which is will be the third time I've put a piece in here. First time I had to repair it I, I ran into a Christmas tree at about 40 knots wide open throttle so I had to repair that um, so I'm gonna basically make me a little step like a recovery step right here you know what I'm saying like a little recovery I was thinking about scarfing another piece of wood on here and just running it at its stock design like scarfing a piece right there but I think I'm just going to grind this, like feather it, and then lay a piece on top of it and just leave a little break, kind of like a recovery, you know. And then I'll, I'll just reshape all this. Uh, my boat, the nose of my boat, it's not as pointy as most shrimp riggers because I had to replace this part here and I had to kind of blunt the nose off. So uh, I think I think putting this back and then scarfing a piece on there may give me a little bit more room up forward as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna fix it. it. It's it's a hobby, and what what does a hobby do? It keeps you something to keep you busy, something to keep you entertained, and a challenge. And I think this will be a challenge. It'll keep me busy, and I think it's gonna be the right thing to do. So. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go. All right, man, 77, it, it got me with that 96. Boy, I thought I was like walking on clouds for a second there. <laughs> you know, but uh, it just goes to show you that you ain't got to get these big motors and big ESCs and everything to actually like smoke the water. You can do it. You just got to think about it. Shorten the rudder, less drag, you know, get you a good prop. Think about the bottom of your boat, you know, really spend some time on your boat, you know, and, and you can get yourself a fast boat. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Boat gang, you guys are freaking awesome. We'll see you next time.